Hi, my name is Rick, and I own a uh, Razor E300 scooter, which I really like. It's really fun, it's fast. The only problem is it runs out of power when you least expect it. And that's the problem with Razor. They don't give you any kind of indica indications or any kind of equipment to let you know your battery is going dead. So I decided to do something about that on my own. And here's what I did. So I found this place called electricscooterparts.com and I bought this the MET W12 volt and that's all it gives you for that information so now we're gonna try to install this guy so the first thing we want to do is take off the screws and uncover the battery Now for these middle ones here, you're going to need an Allen wrench. Not exactly sure what size this is. Well, I guess these back ones do have a small bolt on them. So you need a pair of pliers or something to hang on underneath there. done you can take off this cover and here's our battery now we have this bar here that keeps the battery in so we want to move that And there's our two batteries. So now what I want to do is I want to tie into this light switch. And that is right here. There's my ground right there. And there's my there's two hot wires coming out. I could tie into either one of these. So that's what I want to do is tie into those two. Uh, but before I go messing around with wires, I want to unplug the battery so I don't short anything out. Yeah. Test that light. No power. Okay, so now the battery's unplugged. So now I want to tap into these two plugs here. But this guy's in the way. This guy right here is in the way. Of these plugs so I see one screw and hopefully it comes out with one screw there's actually two screws this will be fun getting them back on oh, this thing's got to get out of the way So now we can get this box out of the way. Now I want to put that and follow these wires right here into this housing down there. So I can bring everything there and have it nice and neat. So I'll get back to you when I finish that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is very simple. I'm going to take, where is it? Okay, here's the wire. This is the wire I brought through. Okay, and I'm going to take the black, the, take the red wire first, and I'm going to slide it into the cover. 
and then I'm going to plug that cover in here and cover this guy and that should hold that wire in there okay. and he's underneath here he's buried in there so he's good to go and I'm going to do the same with the black See that, but I'm taking the black and sticking that in there so you can see that. Oops, if you can see that, I've got both wires going into here, and then I plug that guy back into the round. And switch it on and see what happens. Hmm. Nothing. Well, that's because I have the battery in plugged. In, turn on the switch, and now we have a full battery. When it comes on, we turn the switch on, and it goes off when we turn the switch off. Now, all we're going to do is attach that to the handlebar right about there. Okay, so there you have it. All I needed was these tools screwdriver, pair of pliers, and the, um, uh, what do you call them? Uh, I can't even think of what the they're called. Uh, and I'm all back together. And this thing came with a nice little mount. So you can just mount the thing right onto your handlebars. I put zip ties around the thing to put it together. So now, when I turn on this switch, I get this, and I have a full battery. Switch it off, and he goes off. How cool is that? 